In today's episode of Harmony for the General Public, I'm going to show you how to escape an enemy. Some of the terms that we're going to learn for the first time or review are fifths, open fifths, transposition, octaves, perfect fifths, major thirds, major chords, and changes of harmony. Let's begin. This is a passage from Help Us on the Way from the fourth movement, okay? Notice it starts off very primal feeling. Very resonant. And that's because of what we call the fifth. Okay, now what are fifths? I already explained this in part in my Steps and Leaps video for What the Fugue, but I'll just quickly remind everyone. In music, you can measure the distance between two notes by filling in the notes. And we always count the first note. So in this case, we'd say that's a fifth. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. What I've just done is I've taken this, this fifth here and I've transposed it. That means I've shifted it up or down. And I've transposed it by a certain interval. In this case, it's called the octave. Don't worry too much about what is an octave. Just get these terms in your ear. No pun intended. And the particular quality of this fifth is called a perfect fifth. For example, this would also be a fifth but it is quite distant. It doesn't have that richness that we just heard. Before I go any further, I would like to just announce to everyone that my deepest desire is to create a full-time orchestra here in central New Jersey so we can do a live performance of Hub is on the Way for Orchestra so I can invite you to live performance so we can get a recording and so we can have harmony for the general public with an actual orchestra. In the next measure of this excerpt, I add something new. This was not previously part of the chord, but it's hard to tell. Do you hear the open fifth here? The open primal quality? And the note I just added on top is called a major third. Don't worry about why it's called a major third, but it's a major third. And notice how it adds richness and brightness to the chord. Listen in context. Primal. And adding brightness. These are two different major chords, okay? So a major chord has this sound quality. We'll get into another video why it's called a major chord, why it's a major third, but just listen for the quality.
Now let me play from the beginning and show you one other thing. What you may not have noticed is that the harmony doesn't really change at first. It's only at the very end. That there's a real change of harmony. So when you hear this live performance of Hubbard on the Wave Orchestra, what I think it's going to feel like, it's like... It's going to feel thick and heavy, like you're, you're running from someone for your life, and you get trapped in, your mud, in the mud, and you're like, oh my goodness, what's going to happen? And the enemy, the monster, is coming closer. But the more you slow down, the lighter you become, and you begin to flow up to the, the clouds. And before you know it, the enemy is stuck in the mud, and you're like up in the heavens. I hope you found this enjoyable. Please let me know. I would like to do longer videos in the future, but until we have a large enough of demand for harmony for the general public, I think we'll keep it nice and short and simple. Have a good day.